What if you could save time, energy, and resources with smaller processing facilities? For over 100 years, chemical engineers have been designing chemical processes using standard unit operations. Putting together operations such as reactions, separations, heat exchange in predictable ways is a familiar and reliable way to design processes. We may be reaching the limits of what we can do with traditional chemical engineering processes. Conventional unit operations have served us well, but it's time to rethink how we're designing our chemical processes. Process intensification is a new tool that allows chemical engineers to think differently about process development. Using process intensification concepts, engineers can design processes that more efficiently use raw materials and energy, produce fewer byproducts and waste materials, and cost less to build and operate. In certain cases, chemical engineers can put the chemical and physical transformation steps together in new and different ways to generate entirely novel operations. Engineers can also introduce new technologies, such as microwave heating or plasma systems, that allow chemical transformations to happen at milder conditions. Processes can use novel materials that allow for more efficient separation, leading to higher quality products with less waste. These are all forms of process intensification. Process intensification could save you as much as 20% in capital and or operating costs by generating significant savings through drastic redesign of processes. The Rapid Manufacturing Institute is leading the way in the U.S. to make process intensification a common tool available to all engineers. To find out more about process intensification and Rapid, visit us online at www.aiche.org slash rapid.